What is up everybody? I'm Marco Encina and welcome back to Chelsea Fans Channel. Italy versus Ireland just landed. Italy lost 1-0. Ireland played a great match. It's a rough one for Italy. They were already qualified, so they're top of the table no matter what this game meant. So technically it didn't mean anything. Um, and Conte changed a lot of players. There were like seven or eight of the starters from the other matches. We're changed. I'm in New York, by the way, look. Empire State Building is up there. Yeah, just so you know. Um, and yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the players were different. And especially in the back line, like look, if you looked at Ireland's goal, Sidi Gu, who's the start of this game, and Bonucci did not have that communication like uh, like Bonucci and Buffon have, you know? And like it looked like Bonucci was expecting Sidi Gu to come out. Sidi Gu was expecting Bonucci to come out because they don't have that chemistry. And it translates to, to Chelsea because Conte is going to be the new coach for them. And he needs to get the back line sorted out because his game is heavily focused on, on defense. You know, like he plays three men in the back a lot of the time and if you don't have an organized defense and that goes to the goalkeeper too it's going to be rough but also Italy didn't come out to play on this one so it, it's really hard to say I think um, maybe tactically it was it was a wrong matchup maybe shouldn't have gone for a 3-5-2 because you didn't have Chiellini in there and you put Ogbono who's not Ogbono who's not exactly you know used to playing with that uh, so it was a, it was a rough game for Italy overall some will see this as genius that that Conte maybe rested the players and he didn't care as much about this game because, you know, Italy, Spain is next. Uh, but I know Conte is a winner and he would never want to lose a game. So it's difficult. It's difficult to really say. But uh, ta tactically, I think Italy got it wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. Um, in the back line, it's really hard to play with a three-man defense if they never played together. And that goes to the goalkeeper too. City Gu had a fantastic match. Nothing against City Gu. And Bonucci was a little bit off too. But that communication defense needs to be there and Conte is going to really need to be careful of that at Chelsea and he's going to need to get players that he knows and that can work together because even at Juve in his first season he needed to gel the pieces together. Juve never played with the three-man back line but he saw how Barzai, Bonucci and Chiellini played together and he took it from there. So yes, um, Ireland won. They probably did play the better match. Uh, credit to them but a lot of good news for Italy and for Chelsea fans and for Conte fans because they're going to play Spain. They're going to play a real opponent, you know, a, a very challenging opponent. And I think that's where you'll see what Conte is. We saw against Belgium, who was a very good squad. Italy showed up. Against Sweden, they didn't really show up. Eder got that late goal. And against Ireland, again, Italy struggled. This is an Italian thing. It's not just a Conte thing. They've always struggled against smaller teams. So there's bright spots. And I think Conte needs to be judged. She's looking at me. I think Conte needs to be judged after what he does in the Spanish game because that's a huge one. Italy do not want to lose. Conte doesn't want to lose. Match to forget. But if there was a game to lose, this was the one to lose. We'll talk to you soon. Hope you enjoy. Ciao, guys.